Hey viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Civ 4. And I did a little bit of thinking. Well, I had some fun with my family last night, and that was good. But I was both been thinking about the heroic epic location, and even though the city is going to be used for production quite a bit, I'm not convinced about it here. I don't like it. I'm actually going to switch it out and put it in a another hammer city, in particular this hammer city. Uh, let's emphasize hammers. And my reasoning for doing that is just so that it is less vulnerable. And there's enough hammers here, right? Right? Well, whatever. Um, yeah, I could see... Really, it's going to struggle a little bit until biology, unfortunately. But I'm working some hills. Actually, one, two, three, four, five hills. Um, this is a windmill. I guess I need that for food though, so the workers are actually doing fine there. And yeah, okay, so five hills, not so bad. Um, no, just four. I don't know why I counted the fun plane. So four hills. And what would I be doing over here? A maximum of. Okay, so it's even a better city. I'm just going to put Heroic Epic in a little bit safer of a location. Because uh, sooner or later, I'm going to have to declare on Montezuma. He is getting out of control, already declaring on Bismarck before, uh, right, you know, right after he capitulated France, and uh, Ragnar's capitulated to him. And that's going to be everybody except for Augustus Caesar and the yet unmet Civ, whoever that is. So, I do run the risk of Montezuma winning something like a diplomatic victory or something stupid if he capitulates enough people. And I might need to break that up. So I'm going to probably start producing redcoats pretty soon, just in case I need to preemptively declare on him and wall a bunch of attacks while I tech up. Now, doing that would suck because I'm going to struggle with uh, losing all the happiness resource trades. But, you know, if you're in that kind of trouble, you don't get a choice, you know? you, you got to interrupt the AI winning or you're going to lose. And I'll probably go assembly line next, assembly line, or maybe steel for cannons. No, I like assembly line. Assembly line offers so much production, it's just good. And I should probably bother to meet the last civilization, so as soon as Statue of Liberty finishes, yeah, I'm actually going to swap in a galleon or two, just for, you know, fast naval exploration. Or maybe I'll just use caravels, because that's like cookie cutter. And I love cookie cutter. Yeah, let's drop some caravels into the queue there, and I did get Statue of Liberty. Excellent. And, uh, yeah, rather than wealth, although wealth uh, improves my research rate, I that's really not the priority right now. Uh, I'm doing better than okay in research rate. So uh, cities that have produced other things are just going to produce rifles now. Or redcoats, I should say. Which won't do anything special against Montezuma, because he's backwards. Alright, I'm just going to auto-explore. I'm not sure if someone's proved the world is round yet or not, but it doesn't matter. Um, get a courthouse and an aqueduct in there. Uh, let's see here. I really don't want to trade him that because he'll most... Actually, no. It's fine. I'm not too worried about his culture, and that's probably the lowest impact thing I can trade him. There you go. Yeah, give me your map, too. Ah, oh, there you go. The last civilization looks like Egypt. Egypt? Yes. No. Holy Rome. Uh, Holy Rome's going to be pissy with me for trading with the worst enemy, I bet. Because I am certain he's the Buddhist, and I am certain that he dislikes Augustus Caesar because Augustus Caesar is not Buddhist. Right. So, got a couple settled specialists here. I'm actually going to settle my priest in my heroic backup city uh, just for you know, a hammer bonus. A little bit of gold, too, but it gets uh, pretty nicely boosted. And what else do I do here? Uh, I think I'm just going to key red coats right away. And sooner or later I'll get biology, and that's going to make my farms better, and that city can grow on the, the lumber mills sooner or later. Oh, also probably want to get my great general into that city, since that's where I'm putting heroic epic now. And yeah, I wasn't going to get to prove the world was round, not since I was like ignoring optics for so long. Really nothing nothing going there for chances of that. And sure, I'll build a grocer. I'm actually going to build a lot of health buildings because I anticipate building uh, factories soon. And that's going to require a lot of health to not starve to death. Yes, you will starve when you go with uh, factories. And I'm just hoping I have coal because otherwise that's going to slow me down a little bit. No, no. And yeah, everyone hates him because Montezuma dragged him into war. 
And settling the general here will give me five experience red coats out of the gate, which is pretty strong. I uh, should do pretty well with that. And why are you running an engineer? Oh, I'm emphasizing hammers. Uh, um, food and hammers. What does that do? It switches off the mine. Okay, no. <sighs> Citizen specialist. Oh, I know why it's running an engineer. It's because I have Statue of Liberty. And that is a required specialist, so I can't take it off. <laughs> well, it's not a required specialist, but um, it's not actually a citizen. It's just a specialist from uh, possessing the wonder. And there we have a little Aztec revolt there. Excellent. Slow down Montezuma, if only very slightly. And yeah, I got some gold for Heroic Epic because I built it in two cities. And uh, really, just with the redcoats from Warwick, I will probably have enough to defend myself against Montezuma if he pulls any shenanigans on me. And I just got dominated by that barb galley. That was anything but fun. It was unpretty. Kind of like the song. There's there's a song about that, right? Right. Uh, very old though. <sighs> Seriously. Uh, and you know because. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's doing all right, unlike the others. Um, because he shares a long border with one of Montezuma's vassals, he actually has very high cap chances. So if Montezuma gets any war success at all between his power and the uh, cap chances, that's going to be a, that's going to be a bit of a problem. It's tempting to give just give uh, rifles to Bismarck, but what I'll probably do is just you know screw the world over myself. I really wanted to win peaceful space, but that doesn't look like it's in the cards, does it? No. No, that doesn't even look remotely in the cards. So, yeah, assembly line. Um, maybe all the way to tanks. Or, uh, you know, just destroy them with redcoats. I don't know. Farm some great generals from them. Make a super city out of my production city. And uh, now that I have steam power, I have can build levees. I'm going to do that in any city that can actually build levees. Because levees are awesome. Usually. Assuming you can build them. And okay, so if city's Riverside, which London is not, so let's get it out of there. Building a levy here already. Yeah, just shift click the levies into the next item in the queue. That will put them in Hastings, Coventry, Warwick, and that's about it, other than the ones I already selected to build them. And how am I doing culture with the AI? Okay, AI is not threatening culture too much. It's very tempting to just declare in Montezuma. If I didn't lose happiness resources, I would do it. I would totally great general farm him. It would be so easy. And you wouldn't get a lot of... Mm. Aztecs are going crazy with this now. It's so tempting. I just need a few more red coats, and I'm probably going to do it. This is seriously, he's getting old. I don't want to deal with this nonsense. Yeah, I can afford a couple more. A couple more uh, workshops there. And then after levies, I'm going to want uh, factories everywhere. And it looks like my red coat era is short-lived. Okay, yeah, he's going to uh, he's going to cap. He's going to cap Bismarck, and he's going to have a lot of land in pop. Fortunately, they are teching slow, so the chances of Montezuma getting to UN in a meaningful amount of time are pretty low. And notice that I have pretty high plus net diplo with him already. I could cheese this game, some viewers, and I could cheese it so badly. Because I have, uh, let's see, negative four, so uh, let's see, plus four, and four, yeah. He is already almost at the disposition where he would vote for me for winning, and yeah. <laughs> and if I switched to Judaism, I don't know, I wouldn't be a full member. If I switched to Judaism and killed off Augustus Caesar to get the control of the Apostolic Palace, I would be the only eligible member for the Apostolic Palace. And Montezuma would vote for me to win the game, and I would just win instantly. Very lame, but it would work. But you guys don't want to see that, and I don't think Ben Jamin wants to see that. I don't think anybody wants to see that AP cheesing. Uh, that just gets old after a while. Anyway, uh, add some factories to each locale. Do I have steam power? I mean, do I not have, obviously have steam power. Do I have coal? Coal, 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 no. No, of course I don't have coal. Can I settle for coal? I can capture a city for coal. Let's do that. Um, probably only need like one galleon full. 
let's just grab some red coats, like three of them, and uh, get on a boat. Yeah, look how fast you can build units with Heroic Epic. It is so nice. And I like how I actually got it through, and I don't need two of these. I like how I got it through uh, defending, just playing defensive warfare, sitting on some longbows. Pretty effective. Now, yeah, the, this is a pretty pitiful tech game, and part of the reason for that is the warmongering psychos in it. So the AI can't have everything. It's either going to war or, and then suck at tech, or it's going to tech, but then you're not going to have one runaway super AI like this. And yeah, these runaway uh, warmonger AIs do get a little bit better technologically on Immortal, but really they're not any threat until deity, kind of like uh, the techers really aren't any true threat until deity, once you know what you're doing. You know, on deity, you actually have to micro a little bit or try or whatever. And I'm debating whether I should go for scientific method next, or just keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, I'm actually going to trade for... Uh, I'm going to trade for drama after all. Now what should I trade to get it? Well, this guy lacks chemistry, but he is the only person who does. So, we'll do that. Excellent. <sighs> no, no, you're just going to capitulate and then I'm going to have to sweep the entire continent fighting all of you at once, which sounds a lot harder than it actually is, but it's still going to be a little annoying. It's going to dry dock. Yeah, the Aztecs are just kicking their, kicking their tails in there. It's not so great. Hey, Charlemagne. Oh, he is not pissy with me. I am in free religion. I'm going to trade for sheep. I'm definitely going to need health resources. Let's just get that going now. <laughs> and I forgot I can still uh, utilize ironworks as well. So I might want to put ironworks, I don't know, either my capital. I don't really have a lot of good hammer cities because I want cottages. Could put it here, but it would be kind of weak here. But yeah, I'm going to take what I can get in that regard. <laughs> kind of heads up to get the coal. That's actually pretty important. Without it, I would have to wait until like fission to get power, assuming I have uranium, which is no guarantee, or like all the way out to plastics and try to get Three Gorges Dam or something. It's just annoying. And trading for coal can get expensive. <laughs> you know, that's why if you uh, if you can pick it up, if you don't have it, but you can pick it up on like a little you know satellite continent type deal like this, I, I would say go for it. And I'm just going to be safe and take cover. Give myself very high odds against these longbowmen. And yeah, this city is going to be good for nothing except for the coal. Which is actually pretty much all I needed. So, and that's the only reason I went there. So that actually works out. And does anyone else have health resources that I can trade to get? No, they have horse. That's not particularly important to me. And yeah, I can work in some theaters in each city just to help out for when I get war declared on me, or I declare war. Yeah, just fortify there. That should be reasonable. The AI doesn't really pursue these, you know, outside cities a whole lot. We'll just go with combustion next. And I think maybe I will take up the tanks, or maybe even nukes, who knows. This city, I'm going to produce uh, naval units from this city in an effort to protect my uh, seafood. I don't have much, but I really don't want them pillaging it, and I really doubt they're going to have any naval uh, power of consequence like I will have once I get to combustion. So there's no reason to let them go pillaging my seafood when I can easily stop that. No, go away, shut up. You're stupid, Dragnar. Stupid. Okay, uh, get some happiness, and finally get a barracks in that city. Yeah, I'm actually just going to, I have the hammers for it. I'm going to spam infrastructure. It works out. Coal plant, infantry, 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 in loop. Infantry absolutely dominating what the AI has. If you look here, he does not have paper, which is a prereq for a printing press, which is a prereq for replaceable parts, which is a prereq for rifles. So he is nowhere near rifling. And I could probably stomp him now, 
but I'm going to prefer the faster moving warfare of the tanks and bombers and I have over a thousand beakers a turn already so I'm not too far away from tanks and bombers and yeah just I like those wars they're fun so <laughs> I'm gonna wait on it uh, go with wealth and a uh, factory in this city coal plants yeah so good alright first thing we're doing is industrialism then flight ra industrialism flight and radio and that will give us everything we need for tanks and bombers so that's good and now that I've produced most of the infrastructure and I have a heroic epic city uh, spamming a defensive unit for me I really don't need a whole lot else other than uh, yeah just teching up so probably don't even need to be building a lot of infantry in this city seriously even a even a fairly impressive stack from Montezuma is not going to get through that many infantry so I'm actually I'm just going to build uh, defensive units from my heroic epic city which is basically an infantry every single turn is that awesome or what oh <laughs> this is a corporation uh, along with Sid Sushi that I can accept we're gonna do that we're gonna we're gonna double corp this I oh, know someone got sushi already oh, no I don't I think I can't get sushi yet because I don't have medicine yet soon soon but mining ink oh my god this is uh, pretty sick mining ink it's only five hammers but it allows me to stay in free market and really not have to worry about corporation or uh, what's it communism at all it allows me to stay on my cottages and still have decent production it's just solid all around <laughs> the city's gonna starve um, hmm. I think I'll use this to produce uh, executives once I can uh, get executives out of the city. In fact, I'll just make an executive now. Uh, I think biology, medicine, should I go for Satsushi? I'm debating. Now nah, the setup costs are a little high. I'm just going to uh, drop a guy in here. No, no, Satsushi would help me. I have a lot of food poor cities. Alright, we're gonna do it. This is completely unnecessary, viewers. Uh, I could just end the game, but I'm not going to do that. We're gonna we're gonna uh, troll the AI a little bit here. With superior tech, mass corporations, you name it. We got this. Got like 173 gold to turn outside of Golden Age. Absolutely. Although that's gonna drop when I stop building wells in that city. And just bang out some ironworks. No. I'm surprised Bismarck hasn't given up yet because seriously, um, yeah, I guess Montezuma cleared his border cities with the French is what happened. But yeah, well, look at his score. His score is, he's down to so few cities. And Montezuma's a lot of cities. Look at this. I'm going to have a fun time trying to get through all that nonsense. At least he doesn't have astronomy to declare on Charlemagne yet. And what happened? Which deal is canceled? Uh, gold to Bismarck for gems. I wonder who has the gems now. Yeah. Um, well, that's not cool. Probably going to have to invest in more happiness structures. You can build it in a turn, so that's fine. Uh, and this city is going to starve a bit, actually. Although I get biology in two turns, and I do have. I will get plus two food from that. And, uh, yeah, I can sneak that in. Capital's not really using it. There we go. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Yeah, Biology ball will give me two food in that city. Actually, three food now that I've included the Plains tile. So that will improve my speed there. Coliseum. Yeah, and then just, uh, just build wealth. You can uh, turn the slider up when you build wealth like this. Or do I? Can I build a health structure? I cannot. Building wealth is paramount to uh, attacking quickly in many cases, so it's worthwhile to consider as an option pretty much any time. And now that I got mining ink in London, I will probably avoid, uh, I mean, I'll probably finally build the courthouse that I've been avoiding in the city because it's actually going to save me some money now that I have the corporation. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing fine. This is the second let's play in a row where I'm going with corporations. It's interesting to me. 
And where's sushi? Ironworks. I'll probably want to uh, drop Wall Street in this city too. Wall Street for the extra money from the corporate HQ. And a double corporate HQ, very strong. How are we doing on Mining Inc? Just gonna keep my eye on that. Coal plant. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have an angry, starving city here. That's what we have. Dry dock, and uh, of course, I don't have oil yet because I did not dig a well for uh, ruin my cottage or town. Always time for that, though. Drill for oil, much like uh, starting quarterbacks of some teams. Drill for oil when they throw the football. At least that's certainly what it looks like they're doing. And uh, yeah, that's what they're doing here, too. So, nope, that's not an offhanded insult at anybody. Nope. No idea who I'm talking about. Come on, Charlemagne. Actually, I could trade for his ivory if I have a resource that he's interested in, or maybe two resources since he considers it a strategic resource. Yeah, you know what? That'll work. Oh, uh, that'll boost mining ink, so I can trade for basically any resource that mining ink needs and get extra hammers for doing so. But I really just wanted the happiness, especially since ivory goes through the market for a happiness boost. Does anyone have any health resources? I know I checked this earlier. Montezuma does, but I really don't want to rely on trades with him at this point, or any of his vassals, because I'm going to be fighting him, and it won't be long. No, <laughs> Montezuma found his new target already. Worst enemy is now the uh, the Holy Romans, and I actually spread mining ink into De Gaulle, so I'm going to build wealth there for a little bit. Pick my slider up, and then in, uh, next turn I'll be able to found Sitsushi and start spamming uh, Sitsushi around. And again, it's going to be a weak corporation. That's mostly going to be for the money, which and a little bit of food. Should give me an extra tile or work or so. It'll work out in the end for me. I'm running 100% science right now, and I don't even have Wall Street in my corporate HQ, HQ yet. Nope, not environmentalism. Coal plant is done. <laughs> there we go. Got a well now. And that's going to help. I'm also going to want to build a market here. Just uh, not mining ink. What are you doing? Quit noobing. You do not need any more mining ink execs. Switch over to Sitsushi. Mm, I'm not really a big seafood guy, but Sitsushi is good in this game, so I won't complain. Also, a little bit of culture. Nice plus for having the corporation. And again, just spam uh, Sitsushi execs. Alright. Yeah, Grenadiers now. Does he already have too much on his hands? Let's have a look. Yeah, he's not wasting any time, viewers. And I don't think he's going to... No, he will not easily get the land since he's relying on capitulations. But it's going to be just a m big pain to fight him and his little vassalings. And their tech trades are going to be pretty solid now, too. Because they're... Uh, you know, they all trade as if it's friendly. Their absolute tech rate, though, is pretty pitiful, so I don't have to worry too much, I guess. It's still, I'm still kind of nervous, though. I can see why some people would find this game to be a little bit on the hard side, just because of the super warmonger who will uh, try to take advantage of that. Die is not a corporation resource, so I'll trade for more food. And that looks like about it. Really not a lot of resources I can trade for. Uh, those corpses will get stronger as I capture resources. Let's get physics next turn. Or does someone have it already? I bet not. Herp, derp. Okay, well, that just means I'll get another great person. And yeah, I have plenty of rifles now. So that's looking good. I think what I'm going to do is uh, produce a decent navy. I uh, have the technology to do so already. So just uh, throw some ships there to protect my seafood. Produce a decent navy and uh, produce a bunch of tanks and bombers. Uh, you know, Get an airport in Canterbury and just keep mauling their stacks as they come in. Keep mauling their stacks as they come in and eventually I can move out and start sweeping the continent. And that should work. It's gonna be a little bit late for a win but it, you know and I could have probably swept the game with cavalry or redcoats already but it's just easier with tanks. You know less of a hassle. So we're doing that. That's how it's going. Probably have enough infantry already. Uh, let's take a little break there. Just get some health buildings in. Uh, nothing, nothing too important, but 
Yeah. Oh, I do have uranium. Why do I have to say that now? Oh, because of physics. It's in my lumber mill tile. Well, it's not really a big deal. Really? Barbarian horse archer? Oh, no! I got my mine pillaged. Huh. That sucks. Well, I'm just going to uh, buy a worker there and go to town. Uh, ironworks. Where did I build ironworks? This city? The city built ironworks? Yeah. Alright, well, since that's going to be uh, the best returns, I'm going to build my engineer there. Okay, it hasn't been destroyed long, though, so I'm only losing out on production for a little while. And since I'm buying a worker right away, I'm going to get that hooked up again. No big deal there, no major losses. Jewish Temple. Actually, I should build research. Now that I have some decent corporation spread and a lot of income, I really don't have a lot of benefit from building wealth in cities now that I'm running the slider at 100%. Wow, the tech rate is still so pitiful. Montezuma will probably have rifles by the time I uh, field any decent quantity of tanks. I almost wish he'd declare on me rather than the uh, AI, but I have a feeling he'll declare on an AI. I just I have a feeling. That's how Montezuma operates. And you know what? Um, Pentagon, sure. I won't have to run any wartime civics, although it's not going to be good in this city. And I'll still be able to access five experienced tanks and uh, you know decent bombers so why not no one else is even near assembly line I'll pick it up Taoists, eh, we're looking good here build more research it's sushi spread in really all my oh all my mainland cities have it except for Nottingham already do I have a guy who's out there no so I'll let them build one more Sitsushi guy and then I can switch that off even All right. Um. Sure. Happiness buildings. <laughs> it's really tempting to try to go for space, but I just don't want to get UN hacked. It, it would suck so badly to lose that way. <laughs> oh, I win. Uh, Diplo. It's Montezuma. That happened to Mad Scientist in one of his uh, roleplay challenges once. He was playing like a uh, no. An, he was like playing his Hammurabi, and you're not allowed to build any courthouses or something. And, uh, yeah, Matt Scientist got screwed by uh, a, a Montezuma cheesing the Apostolic Palace, which was kind of funny, but I felt bad. I actually did win that game. Uh, Montezuma declared on AC. No. So where's Montezuma's forces? And what happens, Montezuma, if I just go, like, um, whoops. We don't have open borders. Ha ha ha. What happens then, huh, Monty? You gonna declare on me? That would actually be fun. You make my day. <sighs> Alright, Golden Age is over. Nope, but I closed borders with them, so they don't really have a uh, clear path to you at all. So all he has is... Wow, that's actually pretty lame. You know what? I, I have some extra red coats and longbows. Why don't you take those, Augustus Caesar? Yeah, I don't need this warrior any longer. I've kind of explored everything I, I care to explore. Save that you know, great spy for Golden Age. Emancipation? Actually, I'm in Emancipation, so that does not hurt me at all. Excellent. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't get the benefits of that any longer. Uh. Industrialism obsoleted one of my luxury resources. I don't know which one, but it did. Uh, never fun to have that happen. Yeah, here. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's weird. That's weird. He just suddenly got much more stuff. Huh. Imagine that. Sorry, Monty. <laughs> weird. Alright, I'm going to start cranking tanks. Tanks, tanks, tanks. That way I can just produce bombers right away before I declare on him, and I will be ready to fight some absolutely lame stuff. <laughs> awesome. I could build Globe Theater in a city that's low on happiness, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. Yeah, I was getting so much from building wealth. You can see that now that I've turned it off. 
And I should waypoint all my stuff to that city, not just most of it. I wonder how that's going for Montezuma here. Oh, he's still bombarding. He's using two cannons to bombard the city. Kind of sucky, <laughs> frankly. Man, I'm going to have like way more tanks than I need. I'm going to have way more everything than I need. This is getting out of control here. I don't have a lot of cities, but just the tech lead and... Yeah, just the tech lead and the strong units I have available to me. I mean, he might get infantry by the uh, time I get bombers, maybe. And it wouldn't matter one bit. You know, I've swept stuff with tanks and bombers that's more advanced. So nothing infantry are going to do. No, I, I'm helping you. I already helped you. I gave you units. Quit your bitching. Seriously. Pen 10 is an awesome completed Broadway. Give me a little bit of happiness. Could use it. I am running Emancipation, right? Yeah. I'm running all the civics I need for end game material. Oh, that's right. This guy needed to be waypointed here. Got another destroyer. And yeah, they don't have anything that actually beats destroyers. So. <laughs> and they won't for a long time. And there are five experienced destroyers, thanks to Pentagon. Yeah, they're not getting through that. Not easily. Sure, we'll, we'll golden age it up. <sighs> so many tanks. <laughs> tanks, 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 tanks. Tanks are awesome. <laughs> Definitely can go with a tankage. <sighs> I haven't really been watching what the goings on here. Oh, seriously? He lost the city to Ragnar? I'm going to have to fight the whole continent at this rate. This is just asinine. And after I gave all those military units, he had to have moved them, which really, that pisses me off. Alright, I'm going to cut this off here and continue it in the next part. Thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't. Me and team signing off.